In this video, we discuss user input and display output. Being able to gather inputs from the user via the keyboard and display output to a display screen of some type are very common features of computer programs. Now, every language does this slightly differently. We've been using Python as our example language in the previous videos. But we're going to show you three versions here, Python, Visual Basic and C Sharp, and how they perform user input and display output. So here uh, we're simply waiting for the user to press enter. And we can see how that's performed in each of the three languages. Here we're actually taking the input from the user and once they press enter, we're assigning it and storing it to a variable on the left that we've called var. Notice with the Python code, we've also added the addition of a prompt out to the screen. What is your name? Here is how we'd output a blank line to the screen using Python, Visual Basic and C Sharp. We've got several things going on here. So first of all, we're outputting a literal string written inside double quotes. Then we're outputting to the screen the contents that are held in a variable, in this case, the variable var. And in the last example, we're outputting to the screen the contents of the string hello world concatenated together with the contents of the variable var. We can also do some quite clever things in programming languages, which were a little beyond the spec, but we'll give you one example here. Let's imagine we had the calculation a equals seven divided by three. And we're going to be storing the answer as a real because the answer will be 2.3333333 reoccurring. Now, we probably don't want that being displayed to the screen with a long decimal fraction of 33333. So most programming languages allow you to do what's called format specification. So this is available in Python, Visual Basic and C Sharp. And you can see the three different formats here. They're all very similar, but they effectively take the variable A, which holds 2.33333, and then formats that variable. So it simply comes out as 2.33. So here we're showing you how these concepts will look in your exam papers following the Cambridge ITCC pseudocode format. And this is listed towards the back of your syllabus. Notice you have to do inputs and outputs as separate lines. You can't join them together like we did in the Python example. And if we want to concatenate strings and variables together, we're using commas in the pseudocode here. Whereas the examples we were looking at in real programming languages typically using the plus symbol. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now and take some notes.